welcome to the channel and today we're going to be installing one of the most important upgrades for any direct inject engine, especially one with a turbo, the Mishimoto oil catch can. If you're unsure of what an oil catch can is or what it does or how it can benefit you, I'm going to link a video up here from Engineering Explained and he'll have an in-depth dive on the benefits of an oil catch can for your engine. The kit from Mishimoto comes with the oil catch can itself, two half inch barb fittings, and two self tapping screws. I also bought four feet of half inch hose and that came with four hose clamps. And lastly, two Ford quick connect PCB fittings. Now let's get to the installation. Now here's the catch can. The mounting bracket comes at a 90 degree angle, but for my needs, I need to have it flat. So I'm going to bend that bracket so I can mount it right here. Now that I got the bracket as flat as I could, I'm gonna install it right where I wanted it there. Before I install this on the bracket, I'm going to take the barbed fittings and install them on the catch can itself. One cool thing about the Mishimoto catch can kit is you can clock the catch can in any direction you like. So no matter where your PCV hoses are, you can have it come straight at it instead of at an angle. Now with the catch can pointed about where I want it, we're gonna take these clips off and this is where we're gonna hook up our hoses. And with these clips, with these clips, there's this little lever here that you have to push back in order for it to pop off. Now that we got the old off, we'll put the new ones on and they're just push connect. So you push them till you hear click. Right there, pulling up, it's not coming off, so we're good to go. Now I'd recommend for your fitting in your hose, spraying a little bit of penetrating oil just on the fitting and inside of the hose here, so it slides on a little bit easier. So got the first hose on. Don't forget to put your hose clamps before you connect it. And to cut it, I'm just gonna use some PVC pipe cutters. And I'm gonna try and leave the area to the coolant open, so if I ever need to add more coolant, I can. Now we're all finished with the installation. We've got our hose clamps on. And then I added two zip ties here to keep it a little bit cleaner. And you can still access the coolant. I think it looks great. It'll be a good addition for the longevity of the engine. One thing to note when it is fully installed, you will need to take off the bottom and empty the can at every oil change, just so it doesn't build up and overflow and start pouring oil into your intake.